my channel, The Way to Succulents, I'm Wei. As always, I would love to share my way of being succulents with you. Today, I'm working in a greenhouse to deal with mealy bugs and show you the details. Look at the bottom of this pig squeak, how many mealy bugs there are. What we use is peppermint soap, a pair of scissors, and a bucket, that's all. First, let's go to the bottom part and cut the dead leaves and the stems. It is the most dangerous part where the mealy bugs lie their legs and build their nest. Here, look how white it is. That means loads of mealy bugs are hiding there and uh, growing there. So cut whatever you need to cut. Don't feel bad because it's good for the whole plant after you cutting and cleaning this part. Then the second step we need to do is spray peppermint soap at this part. This type of soap, because it is organic, you don't need to worry about it if you damage the plant. It's really a good one. You can buy in a lot of like hardware stores or plant stores. And don't worry you put it too much. It's actually the more the better because this one is really in bad condition. Later I will show you more details. The truth is there are loads of mealy bags hiding somewhere where you cannot see from the surface. For example, let's turn around and you see under the leaves there are loads of mealy bugs too. And what you need to do is spray the peppermint soap onto these mealy bugs and then it will be helpful. Keep going. Mealy bugs not only love succulents, they love all different types of plants. So it's actually a quite dangerous uh, bug or pest to a lot of plants. Because it's not in good condition, I take the whole thing out and look all around at the edge. That is all mealy bugs and it's nice and the babies are growing inside. So for this plant, the best solution is just dump the whole thing into the bucket. Sometimes you don't want to, but you have to. For the bag, this is another one. It's not as bad as the one we just dumped. So in that situation, we can just spray onto the soil and turn it around. It's not only at the edge of the soil, it can be hiding in the middle, even at the bottom. Once there is mealy bugs, you should go through all parts of the plant and also the soil. Put them in isolation if it's necessary and the quarantine that is the best for other plants as well look at this corner is with some mealy bugs too so we need to keep eating with this plant all the details you need to pay attention and you need to go through every corner go thoroughly spring is the time for mealy bugs to grow too how to find out look how unhealthy the plant is the leaves is turning yellow and with black spots so there must be some bugs let's get a closer look here they are all the mealy bugs there are more all around at the root part if you Climb up to the leaves. Look at here. <laughs> These are the ones I just treated. Hopefully, they will become healthier soon. Sometimes, if you have to cut the leaves, the stems off, you just do it separate the pot and the, the soil and the plants let them sitting and dry is actually better like i said the moist environment would just compose more dangerous thing look at on the on the skin of the plant on the skin of the plant you see the white big spot that is actually mealy bugs nest that is the peppermint soap we use and it's 18 in one Thank you for watching my video and hopefully it's been helpful to you. If you like, please hit the love button and share with other people. Bye for now.